Hi guys, Adam with Snow Performance, and today we're gonna to go through the Stage 4 Platinum Tuning Software. Now this software is very proprietary in the water methanol injection industry because it's the first that'll mirror a standalone fuel management system. That's gonna give us a lot of adjustability and a lot of precision. And we wanted to walk you through it so that when you get your Stage 4 system, you're really comfortable with how the software works and the adjustments you are able to make. Now the first steps we're going to want to do on any new Stage 4 installation are to calibrate our two engine parameter sensors. Now it's going to be engine speed and boost pressure. Now those are going to be under these first two tabs on the screen and the RPM is going to start by asking us where our maximum RPM is. Now on this engine it's going to be 7000 so we have that entered. The next is going to be pulses per revolution which is really how it calibrates to the number of cylinders in that engine. A good rule of thumb is to enter half the number of cylinders as your pulses per minute value. Now we've entered three for the six cylinder and of course any V8 would be four. Now it's also gonna ask for the max boost pressure which on this engine we think we're gonna hit about 14 so we have that entered. Now our next calibration is gonna be for the map sensor which senses boost pressure. Now each of these Bosch map sensors leaves the factory with a sticker on it showing you calibration values so you can specifically match the system to your map sensor. So it's going to show you slope, intercept, and atmosphere on a white sticker which you'll just enter right in these boxes. Once that's done, then make sure the engine's off with just the key on, we're going to hit calibrate which is then gonna give us an additional warning to make sure the engine is off. Now that's to make sure that the sensor is not under vacuum or pressure and that we're getting a good environmental zero. So once we hit OK, that's gonna be calibrated and that's as simple as that. Now from there, it's time to go ahead and start getting some values entered so we can actually start injecting. To do that, we're gonna go back to the settings tab and open the settings wizard. Now here it's going to ask us four very simple questions about our engine and our setup that's going to go ahead and pre-populate the injection graph for us. It's going to ask us what boost pressure we want to start injection at. Now a good rule of thumb for that is about half of the max boost pressure you expect to hit. Now we think we're going to hit 14, but in case we don't go quite that far, we'll just put six in. The next question is going to be the RPM you want to start injecting. Now general, generally, 2500 RPMs is a really good place to start. Some smaller engines with a large turbo may need to go up to 3000 a week to start injection. The next question is of course, well when do we want to go to full injection? Well we chose 13 pounds of boost, in case we don't quite hit our target of 14 we'll still get the pump all the way ramped up. And then of course the full injection RPM, now for that it's a good idea to hit the same RPM that your engine hits maximum torque output at. Most engines, that's gonna be 4,000 to 4,500 RPMs. Then once we have all those selected, we simply hit OK, and that's gonna go ahead and populate the injection table. Now that's gonna be the third tab over here. And when we open this up, we're gonna see a real tuner style uh, overlay that's gonna show on one side our boost pressure and then our RPM. So if we see we're at 4,200 RPMs and at 11 pounds of boost, that's gonna show us that our pump's at about a 71% duty cycle. Now this has been pre-populated by the setup wizard to get us up and running quick, but if you do start to notice a dead spot or anything as you accelerate, we can come into every one of these cells and actually tweak that pump duty cycle value to really customize exactly how the water methanol system is responding to our engine's needs. Now another nice thing about this software is that it is able to save and uh, transfer a tune. That means if you want your tuner to take a look at what your water methanol system is doing to help you troubleshoot, or you want your tuner to send you a tune they've developed for your specific vehicle with water methanol injection, you can actually open and download a tune that will let you skip any sort of setup steps and just go ahead and use something that your tuner's already developed and knows to work well. So that's what's gonna happen under the open and save tabs. Now as we come along the top here, we're actually gonna see a few more tabs that we can use to uh, interact with the system. Now the read tab right here is actually gonna pull the software from the stage four controller and display it on the laptop. Read is telling you what your stage four controller is using for its water methanol injection table right now. Now once you've made your adjustments or anything else you wanna do with it, you would hit the right to then send that program back to the controller and overwrite its previous program. Now the last thing we can go to here to show you is the log to file. Now we can get to that by hitting log to file or live view. Now what live view is, is basically data logging for your water methanol injection system. We're gonna get a line for boost, RPM, and injection, and if we hit log to file, 
that's going to start saving it so that we can data log and actually review how our system responded at the end of a driving session. So we're going to go ahead and fire up the engine right now so you can see how it actually responds to changing inputs. Alright, now anytime we actually change the engine status, that would be start or stop it, we want to go to up here to make sure we click live updates again. That's going to make sure we refresh and start displaying the most current real-time data. Now that we have logged a file active, we can see that it started to actually measure what our engine's doing. Now we can see RPM spike, which causes vacuum to bottom out. Now since we're not under load and just free ramping the engine, of course there's no injection taking place. Now we can follow what's happening with the engine under this live view tab, or we can go back to the injection table and actually see by this bouncing red bar what cells are being active at a certain load state. We can also get a digital representation of boost and engine speed next to it. So if we do have a passenger checking this program out as we're doing a test drive, they're going to know exactly what the system's doing in relation to how the driver is pushing the engine. That pretty much encompasses all the major aspects of the Stage 4 tuning software, and that'll get you up and running with your new Stage 4 Platinum system. Now, if you do have any questions about the capabilities of the system, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email at tech at snowperformance.net. This is Adam with Snow Performance, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.